Hey everyone, and welcome back to Efficient Gaming. We're up to Monster Week 15 in the Witcher Monster Slayer this week, and it is a semi-familiar monster. It's sort of got a new skin. It's a Were-Rat Gatherer. Now, I like the skin. It's uh, pretty cool. It looks like a king of Were-Rats. Um, but yeah, we've got some time task tips, and we've got the whole layout for the month, so let's check it out. Okay, we're back. Literally, as soon as I started recording the video, the game crashed, which it has been doing a little bit more since the most recent update, so I do hope that is something that gets fixed. But anyway, let's check out the what's new section. So before we look at this week, we're going to check out the March lineup. So Witcher, March is just around the corner, although we're actually now in March because that's where I'm doing the video. And with the new month new challenges for monster weeks await are you ready for more time tasks and hunting down three new creatures during the first week you will face a new monster you have surely come across their kin before and soon you will be able to test your skills against this new species challenges for legendary relics will await you in the next monster week hopefully they've actually got the uh, image right for that so on the 9th we're looking to come across some tormented which is quite cool because they've been reasonably rare except for a nemitant Face well-known opponents by completing tasks and testing your skills. The following week will bring challenges related to a new monster. If you appreciate good sword fighting, you will like this opponent. I mean, the Kalidus was kind of a sword fighting monster, so maybe it's going to be something similar to that? Having not been part of the Witcher universe before the series or before this game, it's, I have no idea what's coming, I can only speculate. But I'm quite interested. I did like the Kalidus, it was quite a cool... Uh, model and an interesting take on a monster and it brought us spectres during the day which is really useful prove yourself during time tasks prepared by master witcher for this week legend has it that these ma powerful magical creatures will grant your every wish find out if it's true starting march 23rd when Jin, even though it's even though it's spelt with a d i believe it's pronounced Jin, take over the neighborhood and if you already know the answer, this is the perfect opportunity to max out the trophy level in your bestiary. I have actually already maxed this one because on one of the previous uh, events, we had a lot of gin spawn, even though it wasn't the monster. So I wouldn't be surprised if lots of people are in that situation. The last monster week will bring another new creature to track and hunt down. Find out for yourself what will start appearing in your area. So we're actually getting one, two, three new monsters this month, which does not leave, if we check out the bestiary, many new monsters. So I've already obviously caught some of the were at gatherer, uh, but we've only got the option for three new monsters in the bestiary. So before the end of maybe April is over, if we do get two new monsters in April, there will need to be another game update introducing new monsters if they're still planning on this one or two new monsters a month uh, release schedule. So I'm excited to see what else might be coming, and that's pretty cool for everything. I wonder if maybe when they release new monsters we'll get any more of the seasonal quests or anything like that. Who knows, just speculation at this point, but we're certainly running out of bestiary space for new monsters, so... Alright, let's focus on this week's one, the Were-Rat Gatherer. Witcher, are you aware of the saying, third time's the charm? Well, it seems like the Were-Rats are. Weakened by your latest victory, this time they've decided to send their gatherer kin. Don't be deceived by the name, their sanguinary way of life is not to be underestimated. Sanguinary. Interesting. This week's time task tips are prepared specifically to help you with this threat. A well-timed attack can make all the difference. Must be talking about perfect crits and perfect parries. 
Remember, this monster can be found near human settlements, increased activity around dawn and dusk and in fog. Now, that's a pretty cool mechanic for a monster. At least none of the ones that have been released as a monster week yet have had increased activity around dawn and dusk. So let's just have a very quick look and see if there are any more hints other than what has been given in that. I don't think there is because I looked at this earlier. Can be found near human settlements, increased activity in fog, increased activity around dawn, increased activity around dusk. So no, it's just exactly what it says. I found plenty today, certainly enough to finish off the time tasks for the moment. Can we see one on the map at the moment? No, that's a wear rat warrior. Oh, I need that leecher. I'll get that in a minute. Oh, I need that too. And that lesion hound. Right, there's a wear rat gatherer over here. So that's what they look like on the map. Kind of similar to a warrior, but with less spiky bits on the back. And this one's kind of carrying a crown. <laughs> um, which the crown is a really nice touch. It's like king of the wear rats. But let's check out the time tasks for this week. So the rewards were the same as normal. You got three monster bait, a crafting station, and 500 gold. And the tasks are kill 15 wear rat gatherers. Throughout the video, you'll see me do lots of demonstrations of that, so that's not a problem. Gather 50 cursed remains by killing wear rats. Uh, these are rare. So as long as you've got a bit of inventory space, you're looking at an average of around 10 plus um, cursed remains during that. And since you have to kill 15 anyway, as long as you're making sure you've got inventory space, that will be no problem for you. Kill three wear rat gatherers in 30 minutes. Um, this wasn't a problem for me because part of the day I spent traveling around. So uh, if you're not traveling around, then probably the best time to hunt would be around either dawn or around dusk when they are increased. Kill 10 wear rat gatherers while using cursed oil. I mean, all the tips I've been giving you have been um, making this task easier and easier. Like at one point, uh, I think it was last week, I mentioned that you would be able to uh, use the oil on an Emerton. You would only have to use one and it would give you a credit for three as long as they were the right type of creature. But now it's very restricted. It's down to kill 10 wear rat gatherers while using cursed oil. So it's very specific. I've not seen any in an Emerton yet, so it's not like there's going to be two of them at the beginning of something else. Um, although, theoretically, if it was a uh, Thunster in an Emerton, you might see two wear -out Gatherers and then a Thunster in there. So, yeah, the Thunster being the uh, legendary version of the wear -out. Kill a wear -out Gatherer in less than 30 seconds without dealing any kinetic damage. So, this one is one of the ones that I feel should be demonstrated for you, and so I will do that now okay so everything's in preparation as usual we're going to use our manticore silver sword because that's going to give us cooldown reduction to cast signs a bit quicker we're going to use a cursed oil for two reasons it's going to make it quicker and it's another requirement for one of the other quests further up and we're also going to use the thunderbolt potion just for the damage boost now it was pretty close to night time when I was doing this so I considered using a cat potion but to be honest I didn't think we would need it also it was raining so I could have used a squall potion uh, but I don't personally need that if you're finding this task a bit more difficult you could always add that in but we do this quite easily within the time uh, I did a horrible and missed my first perfect parry but the rest of this goes down pretty easily the extra damage that we've got from those two potions just sort of obliterates it and we've completed that task quite quickly and quite easily well within the 30 seconds that we needed to do that task and that was my first one of that monster <laughs> which is probably why I missed the first perfect parry but to be fair its attacks are quite similar to the other ones um, just showing you that we finished the task and claiming the reward before we move on to the next task. So the next task is kill a wear rat gatherer after performing at least five perfect parries. Now again, I did this very early on and it's been a while since I've uh, fought any wear rats at all or any anything because I've actually finished off the best jury for all of them but the Thunster. But again, we're going to show you that that's the one we're attempting, uh, the five perfect parries, and we are going to 
do this uh, on the where we're at gatherer. So this, like most other things, unfortunately, is just going to be a survivability build. So we've gone for our swift and our swallow potion, along with the white gull that comes from the manticore. Again, get manticore if you haven't got it. Best purchase I've made in the game was also my first purchase. But I just wanted to do a little bit of damage up front. I do make some of those quick ones eventually, um, but again, as I was saying, this is like one of like the second monster that I defeated, approximately. It might not be exactly the second, but... Uh, so I was unpracticed, but the survivability gives you sort of enough uh, extra time to be able to miss plenty as well as get some like that. And I think by the end I did at least seven perfect parries because the last thing, again, that I want to do is to have to do this again because for whatever reason the game decided not to count one of them. So as you can see we're getting closer to our uh, five or seven or however many I decided to do so in between getting some more I'm just wearing the monster down a bit and then still focusing on those perfect parries. Now one of the techniques that I sometimes do is I sort of tap it and if I think I'm too early I let go and re-tap it. Um, which you can do and that will still get you a perfect as long as the second tap was in time So it doesn't matter if you go a bit early as long as you realize and let go and then tap it again at the right time You'll get that perfect parry still But as you can see we've managed that quite easily survivability Tanked us all the way through that allowing us to make some mistakes and still be able to complete the task and yeah, this one was uh, something that I would say was a pretty easy week overall for time tasks. Uh, it's more of a focus on there's plenty of these around. Maybe go out and try and complete it for your best jury. But yeah, as you can see, I'm already finished. I am going to stop now and get some of these monsters that I still need for my best jury, which is going to include that Writher, the Leshen Hound, and this Venomous Arrakis. But I will do that off screen and I will let you go out and enjoy the We're At Gatherer week. So hope you all enjoy it and I will see you next week for the next monster week. Um, catch you guys soon. Bye.